Hey guys, your girl Karina here. Oh crap. I can't believe I'm actually 27 now. <gasps> and this is my first vlog. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Sorry, I just had like a aha moment there. So bear with me, sorry. Okay, let's start this feed on a good note. Mm. So it's me. It's me. <laughs> I'm 27. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, um, it's your girl Karina here again, and this is my very first vlog, being 27 years old. <laughs> Surprisingly how time flies by so fast, but... So anyways, um, for those that are watching this, thank you so much again for, for tuning in once again. And if you're new to this channel, I'm Karina. I'm a very bubbly jolly person in general and I love performing um violin and singing and right now we're all in quarantine mode so I'm trying to make the best that I can um during this time but um so the topic for today is uh suffering sacrifice salvation and it ties a lot together with trials and tribulations and I'm not gonna lie like you know, corresponding that with God, it's been a huge challenge and it's, I find it's like the best challenge that you can ever experience in your life. Like whenever you like undergo a certain event in your life, it's just like that moment where you just have to embrace that and know that no matter what happens, God is with you. And Literally, I, from looking back at my own life as well too, and the struggles I've gone through in my life, I know for a fact that whenever God gave me those challenges in my life, if it's um, for relationships or if it's for work or it's for my friends at times, like, God definitely gives me things that He knows that I can personally handle and He knows that I can personally grow in my spiritual journey and as well as me as a person growing with my character and um, being able to become a better person going forward. So tying that to the topic today of trials and tribulation and suffering, really it's, it really goes back to thinking that, you know, you can't do it alone without God. Even whatever is happening right now, like we can't do it alone without him. Like he's the one that will be able to guide us through this journey all together. And I know probably some of you guys are thinking like, wow, like he's not doing anything about it or like people are still dying. Like, yes, those are not good events happening, but you know, God is still with us regardless of what is happening in this world. And it's all about us being able to trust in him as i said yesterday in my yesterday's video and and being able to know that you know he has the better plan in the end so regardless of what happens whether if it's a trial or tribulation in maybe your family or your relationship or your job or your work or anything or any thoughts that are that you're experiencing right now it's just like never forget god you know never forget to place god in the center of that because you know he's the answer to everything it's just it's just us being stubborn and us thinking that we can do handle it ourselves and we are you know smarter than god just know like He's the one that will be able to, he, he's the one that knows you better than you know yourself. And, you know, allowing ourselves to really surrender into his hands and allowing him to lead us through our lives is really something that's not easy. But once you do it little by little, like, he will really know, like, you know, he will really know you more and more. And... You know, I guess like even tying into my own life too, like yeah, like I used to be very, very stubborn, but regardless of that, I he allowed me to undergo a lot of struggles and a lot of trials in my life where it really forced me to 
to really change my character in for the better and literally like even with this vlog like i didn't think i'd be able to do this or i'd be able to start seeing more in my life and you know the more like now that i think about it like i've really surrendered a lot to him and i'm still trying now it's like i'm not perfect or anything but i'm still trying constantly each day to you know through if i'm feeling down i'm feeling a certain way like i just surrender all to him and there is this inner joy and peace that I feel at the end of the day and you know if I can do it then so can you and literally it's following the journey of God it's not easy but it is worth it in the end and it's all about allowing ourselves to let him take over let him lead the way you know and you know there's no harm in trying really because God is always waiting for us at the end of the tunnel he's always there it's just us thinking like oh yeah we can do it it's just that inner pride that we think that we can do it ourselves but really we need him all the time so going back to the topic it really ties into how we just have to put down our pride and let him take over you know and um to not let and to not let the enemy win by, you know, our own self-pride, just being like, yeah, like, you know, I'm smarter than everyone else, or yeah, no, I'm, I can do this all on my own, but no, it's like, you're going to be undergoing a lot of stress, a lot of tough times more than just letting God take over, like, yes, it is not easy, but it will be easier when you let God take over, and even during the toughest times even like now like a lot of people are dying and everything the more reason we have to let you know we have to really let ourselves surrender to god's hands and i know that's really tough for us sometimes because i get like we, all of us have trust issues all of us are scared and, and, and anxious of what's gonna happen next and literally the like we have to be able to know that everything will be okay I know it sounds like a fairy tale, but really, it's it's true. Like, God knows what's happening. He's not sleeping. Like, He has the better plan for each and every one of us. It's just a matter of us allowing ourselves to let Him take over. So, really, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's... I've been going through those experiences as well, too, but I'm still here, and looking back at my old self i know i've definitely changed in some aspects and i'm still constantly changing as each day passes so really if i can do it you can do it too and again as i said earlier like god cannot give you something or a challenge that he knows that you cannot handle and <laughs> going back to what i've experienced in the past like you know i thought at first when I was undergoing trials and tribulations, but I thought I wasn't going to be able to handle it. But now that I look back and, and that development and metamorphosis that I've gone through, it's, it's really like a beautiful thing because it's just like, if not for those, then how would I be like now? So, you know, honestly, like when you're going through struggles, embrace that. Let God guide you through it that way and let God, like, show you that you can become something better you can really accomplish great things and um really he knows he knows you more than you know yourself so i hope you know you all take something away from this video at least and it's my first video of being 27 so i'm trying my best here <laughs> um but really like before i keep you guys any further i want to see the rest for another video so I will see you all in the next video. Bye!